guys today I want to talk about game machine variables we start with a simple example first we create an app then we create a new game machine post process new. ok we assign it the game machine now we create a new state for example init <coughs> at the global transition start now we want this game machine to change the screen uh, saturation. For changing screen saturation, game machine must uh, set the saturate uh, level uh, parameter. First we have to create a variable for storing uh, the current uh, saturation level. So we create, we go to bars tab we create a local variable we call it saturation variables can have different types bool integer integer vector string and float in our case saturation is a float In the init state, we get the value of the start saturation of the screen. So we use get level param, get level param float action. The parameter is saturate and the value is stored inside the saturation variable. This is the output value to be stored inside a variable. Now we create a new state. Uh, we name it go to zero level. In this state, uh, we have to change smoothly the value of uh, the saturation variable we have. Uh, stored into the init state so we use smooth float action smooth float action set a value target float to an output variable by smoothing it by a smooth amount we set smooth to 0 0.99 and our target value must be 0 we assign the, smooth, the smoothed value to saturation so after we have changed the value of saturation uh, variable we have to set level param float with this new value level param is saturate the new value is what is stored inside the saturation variable to give uh, the value of uh, the saturation variable to the value parameter of the set level param float action we have to click on toggle variable button and choose the variable if uh, we want to use an instant value we have we can uh, choose the value we can uh, write the value into the input box or uh, using the slider but in our case we want to use the value from a variable so we have to toggle variable and assign the variable we are using now we 
connect the init state uh, by the way the get level param float must, must be executed only one frame so when the init state finished we go to go to level 0 state into the go to level 0 state we change the saturation of the screen close to zero value we can set also a timer for making this state during for example two seconds then uh, we can set a new event return okay now we can send the return uh, event when two seconds are passed okay and we can go to go to one level in this case in this new state we make exactly what we make inside the go to zero level but in this case we uh, smooth the saturation value to one we have to assign saturation note then when I copy and past an action from a state to another the variable are lost so we have to reassign them ok, in this case go to one level the saturation goes from the value at the end of go to zero level that should be zero to the one value for two seconds so we connect the two states when this state receive the return event we go to init again now if I click on apply the screen will change its saturation to zero saturation smoothly ok we apply and then go to zero and then go again to one can show simulation 1 and 0 variables uh, can be uh, locals in this case they work only inside the same uh, finite state machine the same game machine can be global if they work among all the game machine of the game and uh, can be parameters if you want the game machine to have uh, some parameter max saturation I can use max saturation as parameter I can assign float type to max saturation and in this case in go to one level I can assign max saturation instead of one. In this case I can set a max saturation as parameter of the game machine of the helper object. I apply here I go on class tab and I set the max saturation for example 5 when I update the Uh, screen over saturate because it goes from 0 to 5 level of saturation ok guys thank you for watching uh <laughs>